Hi guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. I am excited to share with you some of my junk journal book finds from the thrift shop from Savers and also some fun items from Half Price Books. So starting off with this adorable Betty Crocker's party book. I was so happy to find it. Look at this cute little kind of binder looking book set up here. It's a hardcover. So this is what it looks like inside. I love these pages. Again, I will be using some of the pages for my junk journal projects and possibly will be keeping some of them for the recipes. Look how cute these pictures are. They're Snoopy. Oh, I love this. They're step-by-steps and um, different holiday ideas for recipes all about parties. You have Mother's Day. How cute is that? Easter Sunday breakfast. Look at the setup here. This was published, uh, I believe, 1960s. It's somewhere in here. We'll find that in just a sec, but let's do a quick flip through. We have Thanksgiving here. Again, love the adorable illustrations. There's Halloween over here, Labor Day, and we also have some Christmas. Just some very fun pages and really clean pages as well. So we have the index, super cute. I love this. The next item I was excited to find, I have a uh, record player, love, grew up listening to big band. My dad loved to listen to that kind of music. So when I saw this, not even open and perfectly wrapped in plastic, I was excited to see the greatest recordings of the big band era. And this is an archive collection for $2.99. I haven't opened it yet, so we'll do it here on camera and see what the condition or how the record looks like and what comes in the box. So I'll put that to the side. Let's open this. Wow, super awesome. Look, we have our little page here that talks about the band. How awesome is this? Some beautiful pictures here. We have Maxine Gray here in the photo. She looks so pretty. More pictures here. Now here are the records, the Franklin Mitt Record Society. I'm so excited to listen to these. Oh, this is awesome. They look good. Let's see what this looks like. Looks really nice. We'll have to test that and see how it plays and if it sounds good. Let's just pull one of the records out and see. Looks clean to me, so I'm excited to test this out and play it on my recorder, so happy to find that. Another item that I was also happy to find near the rest of the cookbook area was this really vintage looking ledger. And look, it is filled with pages of blank ledgers here. There's only one page here that was used. And from the back, it sounds like it comes from an old stationery shop called Leiden's Stationery and Office Supply. Super cool. So we have this, and I'm excited again to use this in the junk journals. And I think you push this forward and lift this to release your sheets. Oh, super so cool. So this ledger here was $2.99. Another item I was so happy to spot. I've been going back and forth to this thrift shop hoping to find some children's like playing cards but had no luck so we were at the children's section and they had a they sell the cards by bundles like you have the learning cards with sight uh, sight words and numbers and there was one set that came in four packs of cards it was 4.99 and i didn't really want the rest of the cards i just wanted this one so i asked the lady to ask her manager and he said yes beautiful card 
The set's not even open. It is the Congress Designer Series. Let me just show you up close what these cards look like. So this is what the card said looks like up close. Look how pretty this is. It has that 20s flapper look on the women on the, uh, the cards itself. And I love dogs. So I was so happy to see these images here. It says on the leash, on leash and promenade. So inside the box, look at this. It's still in plastic. So it has not been used. It is brand new. And I think all the cards look the same, but we will open it to see if they are uh, the same design as the front or if they vary. Now let's have a look and see if these cards look all the same. And it looks like they all do. So I think this will be perfect to use as ephemera for junk journals. And I just may keep them as playing cards. They're just so pretty and so cute. And I might just change my mind and use the Joker cards uh, to give away as ephemera pieces or decorate my junk journals in here. So super nice. The green cards are the same as this one. They all look identical. Now let's have a look at the items I found or some books I purchased from Half Price Books. This was the clearance aisle. This is a $3 a book on Audrey Hepburn. It is a memoir uh, that was written by her son, Sean. Love this one. Let's see what the cover looks like. It's a hardbound cover. Love the teal blue color. Previous owner had this here. Can definitely use that in a junk journal. But the images are just so beautiful and I love Audrey Hepburn. Look at this image here. There was one page here in the front that I thought was so precious, and I think it was her traveling paperwork. Let's just see if I can find it here. Look at that, so pretty. Love that. And these are actually artworks by Audrey Hepburn right here that's shown on the page. Look how beautiful these are, I love it. Pictures of her. It talks also about her life during the war. And so I'm excited to read this and add it again to my collection here. So here we go. So she has different passports and different stages of her life. Here's the one that caught my eye. Super cute. Love it. So I love, love and excited to read this book. Now another item that I got from Half Price, and we have a, quite a few, this adorable baby's house little golden book. It was a dollar and the pages look intact. Again, perfect for our little junk journaling projects. This one was published. This is a 2010 version it looks like, but the copyright when it was first published was 1950. So super cute. I can't wait to use that for a project. Another item I found that I thought was so beautiful uh, is the Velveteen Rabbit. This one, I don't have this version. I have the thinner ones and this one's a hardback. Look at how beautiful the images are on this uh, book. So this one, hey, look at this, so pretty beautiful story as well and so dreamy so I love this storybook more rabbit tales we have Peter Rabbit tales here for two dollars and has four complete stories in here so a quick flip through here just to show you what it looks like really good condition the tale of Mr. Todd here and then Look at these beautiful illustrations. So we have four stories in this beautiful book. I love this one with the finch or Robin. Um, and this was published, let's see. I need glasses, but anyway, this is um, a newer 1989 for this edition, but the story was written 1902. So awesome, I love this. Now the next one is Still Life Full Color Prints of Artist Molly Katzen. This is $2, so it has 
20 fold prints and in the end I thought it was so nice she had 16 recipe cards so let's do a flip through of her artwork and I love the colors so vibrant look at these beautiful images love this one really pretty definitely can you know frame these and put them in the kitchen use it as a cover for a possible traveler's notebook uh, but I think they're so pretty you know I don't want to bend them but they're so nice nice to um, display so here in the back is where you find different types of recipe uh, recipe cards and recipes that you can uh, tear off here and put them in a box. So I thought that was so nice for two dollars. The next item is this gorgeous Doodles book, and it is uh, it was three dollars. Look how pretty these pages are, and they are tearaway sheets. So I can definitely use this in some of my projects and have the girls color some of them as well. So so pretty, and I love the. Uh, are all different. Look at this cute dog page here. Love that we have some cupcakes and some jewelry. Design your own earring. This will be fun to uh, play with. You can definitely bring this on the plane with the girls. I know Emmy will love this one. And then this was not from Half Price Books. It was from our local grocery store and they had a whole um, stash of books in a box and I love her artwork Mary Engelbright's Color Me Too 48 images to color this was five dollars and I have a collection of her cards and if you'd like to see that uh, comment below and if you like her work as well um, but I love I love love her artwork so very pretty super cute so that's one of them now here's one that I found really interesting as well it is a little dot to dot little work book here we'll have a look and see what it looks like it was two dollars and it's Barcelona it says as bonus six postcards so let's have a look let me open this regularly retails at $14.99 14 so I thought this was an awesome find, perfect for a travel journal. I can definitely add it to mine. Let's see. Oh, love the yellow on the page. And you have the whole map of Barcelona with all these sites that you get to see. How cute. Table of contents. And I love it. It's also in Spanish. There is an English translation, which is awesome. This speaks of Park Goel. Beautiful place. How nice is this? Some history at all of these different sites. Love it. This is so fun. Love to visit this um, city again sometime, hopefully in the future. How awesome. So this is $2 and here we go. So now we have the dot to dot postcards. You can definitely color it. And then we have these. I think that is super cute. So other items that we did get. I have one more book that I'll show you at the end. But I did find this at the card section. You know where they have the playing cards and uh, game boards. So love birds and I was also looking for cards that I could possibly use again for some paper crafting projects this is a hundred piece memory card game the price was a little higher but I really liked it so got this set nine dollars nine ninety nine look how pretty these cards are and this will be a fun game to play with the girls as well the painted bunting bird how gorgeous is that bird love hummingbirds and so you have a variety of birds that are showcased here and you flip it down like this when you play the game here's a cute little uh, black cat chickadee and 
the list goes on. Look how pretty these are. I'm just excited. So many cards. And these will be fun to play with. And also, I may use some of the cards for some of my um, paper crafting projects. Oh, I love it. California quail. Super cute. We actually had a quail family lay their eggs in our backyard. And I'll insert the clip here. It was such a cute moment to see them um, just walking around there with their cute little family. So this is super fun. We also, aside from books, my daughter Lil is celebrating her 16th birthday this fall in October and we are having a game night theme that includes board games and other fun interactive games. So we found, we found some board games that we thought would be fun for her friends. $7.99 and it looks like this is not even open. It looks like, or maybe it is from this side. I'll have to take the tape off. But these regularly retail at least $20, $25. We looked it up on Amazon. So what a steal, and it is complete. So another game that we found that was such a great deal, and again, retails for like $34, it says on Amazon. It's the Pictionary Men. We got it for $5.99. We already tried it out. It still works and it's super fun. This will be fun with a group of teens. So I thought that was a great find. Um, another game that we also spotted that we thought would be super fun was the movie Second Edition Seen It. And this was $6.99 and again, Online, I think it retailed between $25 to $30, so I thought this was a super deal. Other books that I did find at half price were these mix and match uh, book here that I thought would be fun for my glue book where I make quirky images. So this was $2 and it comes with different pages. You have stickers for the faces, the ears, you have a mustache page, nose page, mouth, and the eyes. Uh, Emmy decorated one here, if I can find it. Let's see. I think they missed it. Oh, here it is. Just this cute little a pebble guy thing. So we have that one. And here's another one that I thought was really cute as well. Hand lettering ledger for $2. I think Lil will have fun kind of playing around this. And there's some images here that I definitely want to use for my projects. Look at all these pages. We have some uh, dotted pages, graph pages, and line pages. A lot to practice some um, of the letterings here in the book. And so, oh, look how cute. The images are so fun. So we have that one. Also got this uh, book on Frida Kahlo. So, Two dollars, and it talks a little bit about her life and her art. And I love that you have these full pages showing her artwork. Look at that self-portrait. Love this one. Really nice little booklet here. Love this one as well. Love that. Again, something you can frame and put on the wall. What a beautiful book. And uh, my sister and I, we love The New Yorker, and she actually reads it a lot. And I, I spotted this uh, New Yorker cartoon caption game. I thought this would, again, some of the cards would be great to use as like journal cards in some of my uh, journals. So $7.99. And I'll show you what this looks like. So you have a game board and love this sheets. Definitely can use this. We can play the game, use some of the, um, the cards here. Just fun <laughs> game. So the goal is to write a caption underneath on your sheet here. And whoever has the best one wins. So. I thought this would be a fun game to play 
with her and some of our friends, adult friends. So this is the New Yorker uh, little game. And I'm finally going to show you one more beautiful book. It is the Little Golden Book Collection for $3 from Half Price Books. I love the cover here. Look at these pages with these beautiful illustrations. So I'll just quickly flip through here and show you some of the stories that are included in this um, collection. Look how pretty! The shy little kitten, I love it. And then on the back, we have the fuzzy duckling. Jolly Barnyard. So many cute images. We have two little gardeners. And I like this one as well, really playful. This is Mrs. Mooley. Love little golden books. So I thought this was a wonderful deal for $3. So definitely an addition to my book collection and some that I'll be using for some paper crafting. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this junk journal book haul. If you'd like to see more, make sure to comment and let me know that you enjoy this content. And I will be sharing more uh, flip throughs of my future uh, little golden book junk journals and traveler's notebooks. Thanks again for watching Karamia's Corner. See you next time.